The Arms Warrior is the best DPS in Cataclysm, they have the strongest AOE in the game and they consistently top the meters in almost every fight. These are your talents, this build is intended to optimize single target at the cost of sustained the AOE damage. You see, if you move two talents from Insight over here to Blood and Thunder over there, you can use Thunderclap to spread your rend damage to all targets. You will feel it missing if you don't have it, don't get me wrong, and I would recommend you take it for fights where you know there is gonna be a lot of AOE, but it is not as big a deal as you may think, most of the time AOE pulls die way before you get any decent value of your rend. Just in case, this is the AOE focused variant. For Prime Gliss, we're gonna take the Glyph of Mortal Strike for 10% Boom Boom, Glyph of Overpower for another 10% Boom Boom, and Glyph of Slam for a 5% critical chance of Boom Boom. For Major Gliss, we're gonna take the Glyph of Cleaving and the Glyph of Sweeping Strikes for optimal AOE damage, and Glyph of Rapid Charge because all the other Gliss are pretty useless, you don't get any damage, you might as well just get a, a bit of rage from charge, that's it. For Minor Gliss, we're gonna take the Glyph of Berserker Rage for free rage, and all the other Glyphs are useless, take whatever you like. Now, for your stat priority, it is very simple, first of all you wanna take Strength. Strength is your most overpowered stat in Cataclysm, as every single one of your abilities scale with strength very well. Second of course is your 8% hit cap, I know I said prioritize strength over everything, but by the time you have full tier 11, you should have the hit cap one way or another, so at that point you should reforge or gem for it because it is a huge part of your rage generation. Third is crit, which again is not huge for your damage on its own, but the rage generation you get from it is very valuable. I would say just just as valuable as crit is expertise, there is a hard cap of 26 expertise in the game, and weapon racials affect it, so it is not a lot you gotta get, but it is up there, and you may wonder why is expertise so low compared to other melee classes. Well, basically one of your biggest abilities, overpower, it can't be dodged or parried, so it is, it is useless for that. Then mastery, finally haste. Now let's talk about your rotation, first of all I gotta teach you about stance dancing. Don't get scared, it's dead simple actually, Berserker stance lets you do all your arms rotation but with 5% more damage. The only problem is you cannot overpower with it. So we are gonna make this macro for overpower right here, pause the video and put this on your bars. Also, go to interface settings and in combat text, enable reactive abilities, that will tell you on your screen whenever overpower comes up. You press the macro, you immediately overpower, then you go back to Berserker stance. Aside from that, remember to have Battle Shout and Commanding Shout up at all times and you're ready to go. Now, for the real rotation, you first drop Rend and you don't have to refresh it because next is Mortal Strike on cooldown, this will refresh your Rend. Then we are gonna overpower on cooldown since thanks to the Taste of Blood talent we can just spam it. And then if we get a Battle Trends proc or if we are reaching full rage, we are gonna use Heroic Strike. And finally, your filler is slam. It is a casted ability, so you, while you do it, uh, try to time it right. I would never use slam unless I am over 70 rage. If the target is below 20% HP, however, you do execute instead of slam. Now, I normally don't include cooldowns into your rotation, but this one is really part of it. Every 20 seconds, Colossus Smash comes up. It makes all your damage go through armor for 6 seconds, so you wanna drop all your damage at the same time. A perfect Colossus Smash would look something like this. Colossus Smash, Mortal Strike, Overpowered, with a Heroic Strike or two on it. It is worth it to hold it for a few seconds just to make sure you get a perfect dump on it. As you can see, the Arms Warrior is not as simple as the other melees, there is a lot of room to learn here. Now, let's talk about your AoE rotation. As arms, you have some of the best cleave damage and AoE damage in the game, because you can do both of them at once. Against two enemies, you just pop sweeping strikes and you do your single target rotation on the mob with the highest HP, your abilities are gonna double up on the other guy. Now, against three or more enemies, it depends whether you took the AoE talents or not. If you did take the AoE talents, you wanna start with rend and then you spread it with thunderclap. 
if you don't have the AOE talent you skip this step and go for the next one which is blade storm then sweeping strikes then you thunderclap on tooldown and when your sweeping strikes runs out you use cleave instead until it comes back up then you use whirlwind and if you still got rage left over you can mortal strike and overpower I guess I should mention you can't move when you have blade storm up and the only way to cancel it is with this macro over here so you should use this to replace your blade storm button in your bars just in case you gotta move before it ends. Now I know this rotation feels intimidating but trust me once you get used to managing your rage the pieces fall there on their own and it is pretty easy to do the rotation just by instinct. Ok, for your cooldowns it is time to talk about yet another extraneous mechanic of your class. You have two opposing cooldowns. Your rage dumping cooldown in a rage reduces the cooldown of your heroic strike so you can get rid of your excess rage faster. Then your rage generating cooldown, deadly calm, you pop this right after inner rage runs out to recover your rage. You can't pop them at the same time. Another cooldown you have is Recklessness, 50% free crit, just pop it alongside your trinkets and colossal smash for max value. Then you have Heroic Leap, that's a jump. Intercept and Charge, those are jumps. Shattering Throw will reduce the armor of your target by 20%, you gotta drop this one alongside your cooldowns during blood loss for maximum value for the whole raid. Intervene lets you charge into an ally, you take the next hit they take, you are basically never gonna use this for its intended use but it is nice to jump somewhere at some times. This arm will remove the weapon of some mobs, it is pretty good on trash mobs. Pommel is an interrupt, Berserker Rage removes fear and gives you free rage, it also allows you to pop enraged regeneration and that's a heal and victory rush every time you kill somebody you can use it as another heal now for your gems we are gonna take bold queen's garnet for strength every time and reverberating shadow spirit diamond in meta sockets for more strength if you are not hit capped by the time you are full tier 11 you can take edge demon sai on red sockets or rigid ocean sapphire on blue sockets for professions, ironically one of your best professions is tailoring for 120 strength and comparable alternatives are blacksmithing, alchemy, enchanting, engineering, inscription and leatherworking. For consumables we are gonna take beer basted crocolisk for strength, then we are gonna take flask of titanic strength and we are gonna be chugging golem blood potions alongside our cooldowns for maximum damage. Here is a list of best in slot and chance for each of your items, you can check it out in the description and if you don't want me to proc sweeping strikes in between the two bones of your knees when you are in the shower, subscribe and join the discord and thank you for watching.